everybody, welcome back to Doper Nope, and I am Heaton Sturm from Clark County High School. Today I will be rating side by sides, and if I like them, I will say dope, and if I will, and if I do not, I will say nope. Let's get on by starting with this with the player stranger. Okay, um, I honestly, if I was to get any utility side by side, I'd get a player stranger. Um, they. I think the newer ones look better in the front end. I like the front ends better on them instead of the older ones. I think they changed it in 18, but I just like the newer headlights and the front ends. The front ends on them, the older ones are just the 15s and the below are just ugly. Uh, we have one and I can pretty much do anything with it. I use it to haul wood, pull trailers, farm equipment, anything. Uh, the only problem with it is the belt likes like it slips every once in a while, but not too bad because we change it so often and keep the box sealed so the belt doesn't get wet. But these things are just like a, pretty much a small truck. You can put heat, air, radio, anything in it. It actually is a small truck. Okay, I'd rate this, a, I'd give this a dope. Let's get on with the Can-Am Maverick. These things are stupid fast, and a lot of people like them. That you can dump thousands of dollars in one of these and not even realize it. You can use it for like sand dune riding, mudding, anything really. Anything you want to do with it. They're fast, they look good. Um... I mean, I'd honestly buy one right now if I had the money. Um, I'd put some big old, some decent mud tires on it and just ride it around. Or I might put truck tires on it. That'd look good. But I'd get, I'd give this thing a dope just because, like, who doesn't want a fast side-by-side -side that you can still take mudding? I mean, snorkel it. But anyways, this is a dope. Let's get on with the player's razor. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like them. But at the same time, I don't. I mean, I'd, I'd buy one. But I just... Don't really like the front end so much. I like them better on the Rangers instead of the Razors. Um, I mean, these things are still fast. And they don't look horrible. But I don't know if I'd buy one. I'm more of a Maverick guy. Um, I think they sit up a little high for a sport side-by-side. -side. Unless... Well, they don't sit up terribly high, but they don't sit too low to the ground. But most people would say dope. I'd probably give this one a nope. Let's get on with the Can-Am Rhino, or the Yamaha Rhino, my bad. Um, I already know what I'm going to say about this thing. It's ugly. It's got... It's, I don't like it at all. I mean, the front end is horrible. The circle headlights... Um, the dump bed, I don't like it. The cab, I'm not really a fan of. It's only got two seats in the front cab. Unlike Polaris, it's one big seat. Um, I don't know. This thing, it's ugly. Uh... I don't really have much to say about it besides it's ugly and I would never buy one if someone gave me the money, but, uh, yeah. I'd give this thing a, a nope for sure. Okay, let's get on with the Kawasaki Mule. I've heard good things about these, but I don't really like the looks of them. I've heard they're kind of powerhouses. We have one on the farm, and it they're not fast by any means, but they're just used for work pretty much but I mean if you're not going to go over 30 miles an hour then get one because they're good for farm work we just use ours to 
go around the farm. But one thing they need to work on is the looks because they're just too plain. I mean, the green ones look like a army use side by side, pretty much. And the front ends are so rounded and it just like every year they made them, they're ugly. I mean, the newer ones, like the 2021s, they don't look too bad. But for farm work, I give this thing a, a dope. For anything else, nope. Let's get on with the Can-Am Defender. This thing, it's pretty much just like a Polaris. Um, I used to never be a fan of them, but the newer ones are starting to look better. Uh... I just think the front end's a little small on them. Like it doesn't have much of a grill or anything. Uh, it's like a, it's got the headlights and a small grill and a big plastic piece on the front end. But I've never really drove one or been in one. But from the pictures, it looks it looks really good. So I mean, I'd have to give this a dope. Uh, let's get on with a Yamaha YXZ. Uh, this thing, my buddy has one, and they are stupid fast. I'm surprised he hasn't killed himself yet because, I mean, they don't look good, in my opinion, but, I mean, they're fast, they're fun, I've drove it, uh, I just don't like how the front end kind of these. There's no, there's not really any fenders. But, I mean, for speed, I'd get one. For looks, I wouldn't. But I'd have to give this thing a. Um. I'd have to say dope. Okay. Let's get on with the Arctic Cat Wildcat. These things are ugly. I mean, I would never buy one. Um, I don't know. I don't really have much to say about them besides they're ugly. I mean, who, I mean, around here, no one would owns a wild, Arctic Cat. I mean... It's always either Hondas or Can-Ams. Uh, I don't even know where to start on dissing one of these because there's nothing good about it that I like. Uh, never really heard anything about them motor-wise to diss them, but they look like they're cheap made and I would never buy one, but I'd have to go with a nope on this. Okay, let's get on with a Kawasaki T-Rex. Um, I'm not really a Kawasaki guy. Um, I don't really like it. I mean, I've never drove one, so I wouldn't know, but... They look kind of heavy. Um, I guess it all depends on what all you do to it. I mean, you can do anything to anything and make it good. But, like, I just don't really like the front ends on them. Or the whole thing. But, I mean, the insides, they look nice. Uh... I'm not really quite sure if these are belt driven or shaft um, because I've never really been around them but I I wouldn't buy one so I'd have to go with a nope on the Kawasaki T-Rex okay let's get on with the Massimo T-Boss never heard of this brand sounds Chinese uh, if it's not really a popular brand, I don't think I'd buy it. 
I mean, they look small. Cab looks small, everything. Uh, I'd have to go with, I mean, the fenders aren't even that big on it, so you can't put too much of bigger tires on it in the front or back without it rubbing too bad. So I'm going to have to go with a nope on the Massimo T-Bus. Let's get on with the with the Honda Pioneer. Honestly, I like these things. They're shaft driven. They won't. The belts won't slip since they don't have any. Um, it's just I wish they had more of the package that Polaris and Can Am does. The AC, the radio, the heat, everything else. But if they had that, I would definitely buy one of these over a Polaris Ranger. Um, I don't really have much bad to say about them. But I'd have to go with a dope on this. Um, let's get on with our last one. The Honda Talon. These things are ridiculous. I mean, I gotta go with dope. I just... I. I've drove one of them, and they are stupid fast. But that'll be our ending for a podcast. So this will conclude our podcast for episode four, and come back and listen to episode five next week.